from the Scripps Studios, this is 10 News. New details. This is the man accused of snatching a little boy from a party and tossing him into the back of his truck. Tonight, that boy is back with his family. That's right. The alleged kidnapper would have gotten away, but his car broke down. Our tennis reporter Matt Boone is live outside the City Heights home with how the boy's terrified parents confronted that suspect. Matt. Steve is light out now, but last night it was pitch black as the family was leaving this home, a 4th of July party. But that's when things got a little bit weird and frightening. Their boy went missing and it all ended here where a man was jumping his car. That's where they found the boy inside. They were scared. They was panicking, running around the streets. The boy's uncle Bobby Kamal describes the frantic moments as his family searched the neighborhood. The boy's father went over to a neighbor who was helping a man try to jump his car. I have seen a little boy out here, like, by any chance. And then he was like, no, no. Kamal says they repeatedly asked the man, but it wasn't until the father peeked inside the truck that they found the boy. Yeah, he was trying to start his car and take off, but my dad pulled the jumper cables out the truck so he wouldn't have to go. And then that's when my uncle pulled the son out. Then me and my brother went to the driver's side to go stop him. The family held down the man until police arrived. He's been identified as Michael Mahurin. Police say he picked up the boy from behind and forced him into the truck, telling him to lie down. Neighbor Jorge Mesa says he was shocked to hear about it. We gotta look out. We gotta look behind our back. We have to. We have to. To protect themselves and their neighbors. I feel like as a community, we should look out for each other. We should. I've been in touch with the mother of that child online. She says they're still shaken up, calling this her worst nightmare. As for that suspect, he's been booked on several different counts, including kidnapping and uh, false imprisonment. He's due in court later this week. Reporting live near City Heights, Matt Boone, 10 News.